How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to 2A News Now. And here at 2A News Now, you get your Second Amendment news straightforward and to the point with no BS added in. I don't know how I feel about this one, but after you watch the video, let me know what you think in the comment section. The new Nebraska gaming investigators have been issued Sig Sauer MPX submachine guns? Wait, what? It's true. The state of Nebraska exactly isn't the kind of place. You think when someone starts talking about gaming commissions. New Jersey and Nevada, absolutely. But Nebraska? Nebraska is fairly pro-gun, but New Jersey isn't. And Nevada is somewhere in between the two. But Nebraska legalized gaming recently, which meant setting up gaming regulators. After all, someone needs to make sure the gaming system is being run honestly. Unfortunately, the regulators aren't filling folks there with confidence. Among the issues, and really it's just a single issue out of many, is the purchase for firearms for regulators, citing the need to be prepared in an active shooter event. The Nebraska Gaming and Racing Commission, also known as the NRGC, last summer approved the purchase of semi-automatic weapons for its investigators, which are now already in the agency's possession. And the news isn't setting well with state legislators or the NRGC board. And the action is one of several that has shown a spotlight. On the NRGC since, retail casino gaming and sports betting have gone live in the state. Through the legislative and regulatory processes, Nebraska decision makers have been under fire. From everything from banning betting on Nebraska teams. At home, were the guns needed? That's a subjective question. NRGC board chairman. Dennis Lee said in an interview, the optics were probably not the best. In terms of how it was handled, the weapons were purchased before the agency's 10 investigators had cars to drive to casinos, and the guns have not yet been distributed to the investigators, meaning the $30,351 spent on them could have been appropriated elsewhere for a more immediately functional goal. At a meeting earlier this year, Lee and other board members were shocked to learn of the purchase, which was approved by NRGC executive Tom Sage, who is currently on medical leave and will retire March 12th. And the firearms in question are Sig Sauer MPX submachine guns. In other words, the Gaming Commission bought submachine guns for investigators before they bought vehicles to take them places. And the reason given was because of things like mass shootings. I think most of us agree that people who are allowed to carry firearms should be able to carry them. But gaming regulators aren't law enforcement officers. Buying submachine guns, which are now locked up, versus being carried anyway, with taxpayer money for non-law enforcement, seems more than a little bit silly. Especially as there are so many out there who begrudge the average Nebraskan for even having a semi-automatic rifle. And this was done with taxpayer money. Something that makes no sense to a new regulatory body. To blow taxpayer money on, the right to keep and bear arms is sacrosanct, and it shall not be infringed. But government entities that are not law enforcement agencies have no business on blowing taxpayer money on guns. They have absolutely no use for. You and I don't need to justify our desire to own a firearm. But state, local, and federal governments damn well should have to. And some say there is no justification for this one. There's a couple of questions here. Would it be different if the commission just purchased pistols for those agents instead of six-hour MPX submachine guns? Do you think the gaming commission investigators should be armed? And I don't know exactly what these investigators do, but if they have anything to do with opening up these gaming machines and dealing with large sums of money, I think they should be armed, but I don't think with a submachine gun. What are your thoughts? And as always, I appreciate everybody's support with the channel. And if you guys could continue what you always do, to help the channel out and help it to continue to grow by liking, sharing, and subscribing and hitting those post notifications. I really would appreciate it. And I invite everybody to come back and watch my next video.